people. Let's bring in our other guide this morning, former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino. Mike, good to have your perspective. Mm -hmm. Let's just start there yeah. where Tom left off. We don't know a great deal about space, but it sounds like if you've got a crack on a flange and a, a fuel flow engine problem with number three, those don't sound good. No. That doesn't sound very <laughs> doesn't good at all. Good. But we don't really know. I, I think what this is is an opportunity for everyone to practice and get ready. There's no one on board the spaceship today. This is going to be an uncrewed test. And so I'm sure they're checking out very closely. You always expect a couple little things. How bad it is, the severity of it, I think they're going to be looking at it and, and we'll find out. So it sounds doesn't sound good, Yeah. but they'll look into it and see if it really is something that would delay the launch or not. Can you put this in perspective if this mm -hmm. does get underway or when it eventually does? Yeah. How big of a deal is this? You're a veteran yeah. space traveler. I'm really excited about this. I've been waiting for this day a long time. A lot of astronauts, a lot of people in the space program have. Uh, we thought when I became an astronaut in 1996 that one of us would be going back to the moon. Mm. You know, the, the Apollo veterans would come and talk to us about it, who's going to be next. And now we're finally here. This is the first step in getting us off the planet to another place, the moon, Mars, and other places. This is the first step to doing that. But doing that for a visit, like we did 50 years ago, but to settle and explore and stay there for, for a long time. And so that's what this is. This is the first day not only to explore the moon, but also to to explore the rest of our solar system. You know, as, as I understand it, there, there, there's now more power in these little mm -hmm. cell phones oh, yeah, way more. Than, yeah. than they had 50 years ago for the first mission. Yeah. How, how is this mission going to be different from that mission 50 years ago, that Apollo mission? There, there's a, a bunch of differences. The technology, of course, as you say, is much greater. So uh, so that's one difference. The, I think some of the other bigger differences are is this is more international. You know, back then it was the United States kind of showing what they could do on their own. It's, yeah. you know, compared to other countries, and now it's more of a cooperative effort. I think also you have uh, private enterprises involved mm -hmm. now, which I think is a really big step in why we're able to do these things, because it's not just government taxpayers' dollars that is going to be exploring any longer, just like we've seen with SpaceX and Blue Origin and some of these other launches. Yeah. It's, uh, it's also private enterprise. So yeah. I think there's a great economic benefit that's going to be coming for this, in addition to the exploration benefits. All right. Well, former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino. Mike, thank you. You may need to keep your schedule clear this week. Yeah. If it doesn't happen today, <laughs> September 2nd is, I, the, uh, is the next go. I love coming here. Count me in. Okay. Oh, uh, keep it right here, folks. Tom Costello is going to keep us updated throughout the morning, and we will bring you that Artemis 1 launch live whenever it does happen. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.